I think taking time out for the mid-career program, I think everybody should take time out every year, every decade, every half a decade to stand back and reflect on where they're going to go with the next phase of their life. And this program is designed to allow you to do that in the mid-career space. So for a full year, this is an important time to retool and revision. Yeah, before I came to the mid-career program, I was 10 years in training and development industry and seven years building a leadership institute at a university. And so being uh, part private industry, part academic, uh, pondering going into public service, this was my year to identify what role to play and which dance floor to play it on. Uh, for me personally, the reason for the Kennedy School was my emphasis in leadership. My academic background, my professional background, my philanthropic background has been around building young leaders. And so being involved um, in the Center for Public Leadership, uh, wanting to think about myself as a leader, wanting to uh, play with the idea of where to go next, this seemed like the only place that I would have gone to. What am I hoping to learn here at the Mid-Career Program? Um, a lot of it has to do with networking with world-renowned people and identifying what great people are doing. Another part of that is to self-reflect and identify of all the things that have, I've done to date, you know, what roles should I be playing. And going through the academic coursework and the workshops and all of the different resources here for me has been a place to test um, what are the roles that I should be playing next and where can I do the most good in the world? This is my big focus, is to sort out whether it's a combination of retooling or moving into a new direction. I have purposefully been um, playing a, a variety of roles in my career, from sales and marketing to writing to research to teaching to administration. And I think coming to the Kennedy School is designed to help me um, either decide I want to go more broad into consulting, back into a university in a senior level position, or starting my own firm. So everything I'm doing here is designed to open some doors and close others. Um, my relationship with the faculty, uh, I find them very approachable. Um, the faculty are really here to serve the students. They're all very famous in what they do, they're very powerful in what they do, they're amazing in their content, and at the same time, they're ready to sit down with you and talk about where you want to go and how they can help you get there. So I think uh, everyone can do better at developing the relationship with faculty, but I think at Harvard you absolutely can make that happen. Uh, my fellow students in the mid-career program, I can't say enough about. I am constantly amazed at their personal stories, their professional stories. Um, they come from all over the world, from every level of society. They've seen it all, they've done it all. And to me, this is probably the richest, most diverse, intellectually stimulating community anywhere on the planet. And so the mid-careers especially, given all that they have done, it's an honor and a privilege just to know them and to get to know them every day. You just don't expect how many different parts of your life need to be in order to do it right. There are a lot of people that rely on you when you're here. There's classes, there's your community, there's your fellow students, there's, for many of us, our spouses. We're moving our children across country, across continents in many respect. And there are so many elements to making this program work. It's important that you have a very clear plan of how everything fits together. I think one of the pieces of advice that's really important is when you've gotten to the place where you're accepted and you're at this place, you don't necessarily have to be thinking about proving yourself as much as you may have done in previous academic degrees or previous places. I think it's a real mistake to start comparing yourself to other people, looking at their journeys compared to your own journey. You really have to make the decision that when you're here, that you are here to learn, to grow, to advance your own knowledge, to network with others, be the best you can be, take the most out of it and recognize you're never going to consume it all, you're never going to see it all, but you'll walk away here a different person when, when you came. You know, there's so many things to do. So my goal, if I knew there was courses I wanted to take, um, I tried to pick up books in those areas and read them six months ago um, so that I would have a little bit more flexibility on being 
more attentive to my fellow students, getting to know them better. Even though I find that we're all heads down buried almost all the time, having a chance to pre-read and get to know the professors, the coursework, some of the old course package, um, it's not a bad thing to consider. And take care of your body. Sleep, eat, work out, see the vision, why are you here, what are you learning, how are you growing, and constantly remind yourself of why you're here.